Patrick Dinto there from the Northwest, but now for reaction from the Northwest ANC's provincial task team, we're joined on the line by the team spokesperson for the provincial, Kabelo uh, Mataboche. Kabelo, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for making the time to talk to us this morning. Just take us through the thought process and the conversations that took place uh, in, in, in leading up to the recalling of the mayors. Well, good morning. It is first and foremost what we need to to set on the record is that the ANC one will always act in the best interest of the people, and those people are people who basically vote ANC into power, and therefore when those people basic rights or provision of services is violated, the ANC would always act regardless of whether uh, in those offices are our esteemed. Uh, public uh, uh, representatives. Hence, we arrived at the principle at which we arrived at, at, this, at this decision that service delivery in these municipalities has been interrupted and has been interrupted amongst other things. One is that there is a decline and poor governance in those municipalities. But secondly is that those municipalities are in dire straits financially because money that was meant for service delivery related projects was invested in the mutual bank of invest, but also there is a general collapse of governance in those municipalities. Is this action not going to cause further disruption? I mean, almost seven mayors are taken out of their jobs. Well, it, 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 it can cause a disruption, but it is a necessary disruption in the interest of restoring public image of the ANC and acting on behalf of our people. I'll cite an example. In Rutsi Humuti Mumbati, almost 100, 150 million, to be precise, meant for the regional infrastructure grant, which was supposed to improve water articulation, build roads, and provide quality service to our people, was invested in VPS. And unfortunately, only uh, what VPS through the Reserve Bank report can account for is 101 million rents. 49 million rents went missing between the two accounts. Hence, we say in such instances, criminal cases will have to be preferred against the responsible individuals and law enforcement agencies should act accordingly. That's a lot of money, uh, the figures you are mentioning. Are there any conversations about recouping that money? Well, at the stage where we are in terms of uh, uh, what the report states is that it is slowly becoming difficult for municipalities that invested in the VPS uh, process. We don't know what will the process ultimately come into, but at this stage, uh, there is no indication of how that money will be recouped. But that is, that, 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 that is uh, secondary to the problem. The primary problem is that services have been put to a halt our people are not receiving what is their basic right, which is provision of basic services, as a result of the fact that there are no funds to run those projects that are supposed to empower. So it's all good and well uh, saying that you're taking decisive action and you fired these mayors, but uh, what consequences are there going to be from here on? Well, basically, any political decision has got its own consequences, both intended and unintended. What we need to clarify is that this has no indication of any purge nor any factional interest. The agency is acting on behalf of its people. Hence, we are giving a, an example that uh, if there are no services, be it at any layer of government, be it provincial, national, or local. And it does not matter if the ANC is in charge of that level of government. It, the ANC would act if there are obstacles that stand in the way. The fact of the matter is that our mayors have derelicted duty, and as a result, provision of service has suffered and our people have not received adequate service deliver. Let's remind our viewers about the work of the provincial task team and your, your other objectives. We have a responsibility to unite, renew, and rebuild the African National Congress in the Northwest and ensure that we deliver an overwhelming and decisive victory 
for the ANC in the 2019 elections. So what is going to happen uh, with these mayors going forward? They're going to challenge your actions. What is your response? Well, at, this, at the present moment, we hear of an intention to challenge the decision. In our view, we are speaking to employees and public representatives of the ANC. And what is quite uh, uh, gratifying about it is that these are mostly senior leaders of the African National Congress who have been within the ranks of the ANC for quite a lengthy period of time. And they know for a fact, and hence we say, we continue to engage and appeal to their conscience to comply and accept the decision as it, as it is taken. That the ANC has got a right over time to recall its public representatives. They need to emulate uh, what Premier, former Premier Supra Mahuma Pelu did when the ANC said to Premier Mahuma Pelu, who's also the former chairperson of the ANC, that you can we would like to recall you as Premier. He complied and accepted the decision and never even showed any intention uh, of, 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 of pursuing that decision in the past. Gabelo, to encourage. Gabelo, that is not true. He is uh, actually fighting that decision. He was in the North Gauteng High Court recently. In fact, you have been saying in this conversation that you're dispelling uh, the narrative that this could be a purge within the ANC in the Northwest. But some people have said that you're purging all the people who are seen to be close to the former Premier. Comrade Super Mahuma Pelu is challenging the dissolution of the provincial executive committee, but he is not. The decision, the very decision, which eventually premier. led to him being removed as premier. He was removed as premier prior, and then the PC was dissolved. So he is challenging. You don't think the there's dissolution. an interlink here? Well, in our view, hence we say that we need to emulate what 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 is this respect but what you're saying that he's not it. fighting the decision is not true he is challenging the decision of the NEC to dissolve the provincial executive committee he is not challenging his recall as a public representative of the ANC, which are two uh, different processes so do you do you not agree that this is a, a purge of the people who are seen to be close to him? There is absolutely no purge. Hence we say, and, 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 and as I've cited this example time and time again, when our people are not receiving the required service and adequate service, we need to act as African National Congress, regardless of who did you support in the past, present, and who you intend to support in the future. We've got to act in the best interest of our people to ensure that what the ANC stands for, which is to better the lives of our people, is realized. So, Mr. Matabaka, you're saying that this decision has been taken in order to restore confidence, and yet you're not able to say to people, this is what we're going to do to recoup this money because the restoration of confidence is is not just one activity is it it is and we say we will await in relation to to the the vps process we will await the, the, the business rescue process and the reverse bank and treasury to guide going forward as to how those monies would be recouped but on an immediate we have got to act in the best interest of our people to get the required service. All right, thank you so much for your time there. That's Gabelo Matabuche, who's uh, the head of the provincial ANC Provincial Task Team in the Northwest, talking to us about the ANC's decision uh, in that province to fire seven mayors, four of which were involved in the VBS investment debacle.